In this question, we're given the extension of a binomial, 8x plus a to the exponent of b. We're given the second and the third term, and we want to solve for a and b. So let's start with our general term. pk plus 1 equals nck x to the n minus k, and then y to the k. And let's fill in what we know. So we know that we are dealing with our second term. So that means k must be 1. Our second term, 24x exponent 7, is n c k, which we now know is 1. The first term to the n minus k, which is 1. Second term to the k. So tidying this up, I have 24x exponent 7, b c 1 x to the b minus 1, and just a. So looking at the x values, this is x to the 7, this is x to the b minus 1. Looking at that, I know that 7 must be the same exponent as b minus 1. Add 1 to both sides tells me b is 8. So that's my first piece. Now that I know that b is 8, let's go to my third term. So third term, again, using my general term formula. Third term means that k must be 2. Now my third term is 252 x exponent 6. n, which is b value, we now know is 8. For the third term, k is 2. And this will be my first term to the n minus k. 8 take away 2 is 6. And then my second term, a, to the exponent of k, which we know is 2. So looking at this, I'm going to do on my calculator 8c2. So I know 8c2 is 28. This is x exponent 6 and a squared. So my x is balanced out. So I have 252 equals 28a squared. Divide both sides by 28 and I get 9 equals a squared. Take the square root and a is plus or minus the root of 9, which is 3. In the original equation, though, we saw that a and b were natural numbers. So that means a can't be negative. That's an integer. It has to be positive. So now I know that a is 3 and b is 8.